Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my winter essentials. I'm currently in Australia where the weather is quite warm, but I'm headed to Spain and to Portugal in one month's time where I'm really excited to be wearing some of these pieces. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in seeing more style content from me, please like this video and subscribe. I do videos every single Thursday. So these pieces are in no particular order. My first essential is definitely a long winter coat. For me, a long coat is just the most elegant, it looks really expensive and really polished, and also it just keeps you super warm. My two favourite places for a long wool coat um, are definitely Mango and Cos. So this coat is from Mango, it's 50% wool. It hits me like mid, mid calf, so it definitely is a very long coat. I am, I am a little bit more petite for your reference, so if you're a bit taller, it might be a bit shorter. It's 50% wool and I got this for just over 100 Australian dollars, which is like 80 or 90 US dollars, which I think is just an amazing price to pay for a 50% wool coat. If you look closely at the fabric, it feels very like dimensional. Um, it's a grey colour with this neutral beige tone wool kind of woven inside. So it feels very expensive, it looks very premium and at an affordable price. A year ago I got this brown coat from Mango when I was in Venice. So this is a really oversized style. It's not lined on the inside and it's also, as you can see, quite a long style. So this coat is 46% wool and I wore it throughout my entire holiday. I came back to Australia and wore it throughout the whole of autumn and winter. And I pretty much wore this coat every single day and it's looking like it did when I first got it. It looks completely new, there are no signs of wear, and I just feel like this is a coat that I could have in my wardrobe for a very long time without having to pay an absolute fortune. One of my favourite places to shop in general is COS, and I have this really long navy coat from them. This coat is actually 100% wool, it is a little bit heavy but it feels very premium, very nice. These wool coats are definitely my favourite pieces for winter. For me, they're also the most important because it's really the entire outfit. You might see my knit or my jeans peeking through, but these will definitely be the majority of what you see in the outfit. If I'm feeling a little bit more casual and I want a shorter coat, um, I recently was sent this coat from Petit Studios in this really pretty dusty blue colour. I think it is a little bit more of a casual style coat because it's shorter um, and it just feels like a bit of like a duffel almost because it is also quite oversized. I can definitely see myself wearing this with jeans and black boots in the winter time. The other alternative is this Everlane cocoon coat. For me a cocoon coat always feels like a more casual style. This is just an all round easy coat to wear and the wool feels, the material feels really premium. It is 68% wool and it definitely feels that way. It's High quality, but it's not too heavy either, which I like, and this is also a really, really great coat to have. I feel like having a longer coat and then having a shorter coat just really makes your wardrobe very versatile. So the next category are chunky knits. I'd never hang my knits up, I just did it for this video. But while I prefer my coats to be more neutral, I really like chunky knits that give a pop of colour. My favourite styles lately, and the ones that I really want to bring on holiday with me, are these. Um, this is the Everlane Cotton Texture Knit. I feel like I've shown this quite a lot in my videos and on Instagram, but this is just the most flattering cotton knit I've ever seen. Because it's so cropped and it kind of cinches in at the waist, it tucks in really well, it's really easy to wear over dresses and skirts. For me, this is just one of the most flattering knits I've ever had and I really, really enjoy wearing this. So this is a new release from Everlane. I feel like this is quite an autumnal colour, but in the winter time when things are really grey and dreary, I feel like this is the perfect pop of colour to add to your outfits. So the next one is a different, is not a colourful knit, but it's just a real staple. This is Everlane's premium chunky cashmere knit, but it's such a beautiful fabric. I've never owned anything as luxurious as this. It's beautiful, it's grey, it's a bit of a high neck, which is nice, and it is slightly longer than these two that I've shown you, but it's not overwhelming either. I only have good things to say about this, and it's just the most luxurious thing I've ever owned. I feel like base layers are definitely really functional and sensual as well. This is a turtleneck merino wool um, sweater from COS. 
this feels really, really soft, and merino wool for me just feels really warm and really comfortable to wear. I love wearing this either alone with a coat over the top, or I love wearing it kind of paired inside different sweaters to kind of give a slightly different feel to them. I feel like turtlenecks are a really essential piece to layer with, and this one from Cos is just a really nice quality. I've always spoken a lot about cashmere knits, but in recent times, my favourite has been this black one with lantern sleeves from Everlane. I definitely feel like this style feels a lot thicker and feels a lot softer than the like $100 crew necks. So this piece is just a really nice one that I like to wear inside my chunkier knits or even just alone. A little bit of tweed for the winter time is always a really fun kind of print or texture. So I had this mango jacket or coat um, in a black colour with these white details. I feel like a bit of tweed adds a nice texture to a simple outfit. If you're wearing a really monochrome outfit, I feel like this will be the perfect statement piece to add a little, to really elevate that look. And if you're wearing a colourful outfit, this is still neutral enough to kind of pair nicely with it as well. I feel like a bit of tweed can really elevate a winter look and it's a really fun texture to play with. Scarves are, of course, a winter essential um, and I have two to share with you. So the more budget friendly one is from Muji. Um, in Australia, this retails for about $40. I got mine on sale for $30, um, which is like 25, which is like 20 US dollars. And this is 100% wool. It's very, very soft. It doesn't feel itchy at all. And it comes with the fringing very similar to this Acne Studio scarf actually. And I just think this is a really, really, really good scarf, especially for the price. And being that I picked it up in the grey, it's also very neutral, matches with every single outfit. My more luxurious version is this one, which I've shown a lot. This is my Acne Studios Canada scarf, and I got this probably about four years, three or four years ago at this point. I think while this is droopable, um, this is a really luxurious piece, and I kind of do prefer it to any other piece, to any other droop that I've seen. So if I was to want a, a thicker scarf in another colour, I would probably go back to Acne Studios. So staying with accessories, the next item is kind of a strange one, but it's pretty much wool and cashmere socks. Being in Australia, I never like have to wear cashmere socks. It does not get that cold. But I find them quite like a cold person, like I get cold all the time. And these are just some of my favourite things in the winter time. I have these cashmere socks from COS. They definitely costed me like an arm and a leg, but they are so nice. Like wearing them is just like walking on clouds. And the other pair are just random wool socks from Japan. These are not cashmere, they're like a cotton wool mix, but these have lasted really well and they're really nice. If you're looking for a place to get cashmere wool socks, I think Muji does some wool socks that are really, really great. And otherwise, as I said, COS socks are really good. So onto the most exciting part of this video, definitely bags. Um, my favourite handbag in the winter time is definitely like a burgundy bag or a dark red bag. Like I would almost consider a dark burgundy bag a bit of a neutral. So while it gives a little bit of colour, it's definitely not overly like statements um, either. But it's just it's such a beautiful colour for the fall and for the winter as well. And I feel like a red bag is surprisingly versatile, especially if it's a darker red. Darker red, I feel like, just matches with winter outfits so nicely. This is one of my most warm bags because I love the colour. I really like the length of this strap. I don't know why. Like, it's not a super long strap and it's not a super short strap. It's just the perfect length. And when you're wearing, like, a winter coat, this is the most comfortable strap to have. I think I wear this a lot because I love the colour, I love the style. And it also fits a lot inside. So my favourite winter shoes I have to share with you and I feel like my most essential are basically the black Chelsea boot. So I have two pairs here um, that are slightly different for different occasions. I have my RM Williams shoes. So RM Williams boots are very high quality. They're really meant to last you forever if you take care of them. I have had mine for two or three years and they're looking brand new. I really like the aesthetic of them. They don't have much of a heel, um, it has these tabs which gives it, I feel like, a more casual, boyish vibe. 
it's quite like a it's like an almond toe it's not too pointy not too rounded and there's a leather sole so for me these shoes just feel like a really really classic pair of boots and they're definitely my favorite when it comes to winter shoes so the Iron William boots are ones that I would probably wear more with casual outfits and with denim so if I wanted more of a work boot, I really like these editor boots from Everlane. So I featured them recently in my video. They come with a pointy toe and a bit of a kitten heel. These shoes are very, very chic and elegant. Um, because of how pointy they are and the kitten heel, I feel like they really elongate your leg. They make your leg look like they go on forever. And these are just, yeah, really beautiful style and the leather is very, very supple and soft. My favourite boots lately have actually been those lace-up boots that are kind of inspired by Doc Martens. Um, they look so good with skirts in my opinion. I really like the way they look with midi skirts and just in general to be honest. So they are definitely on my wish list. I've been looking for a long time and I really haven't seen a pair that I feel like is the perfect pair at a price that I'm happy with. I've seen a lot of designer pairs that I really like but they're just kind of way too much money. Uh, my last item, which I feel like I really should have talked about earlier, um, is anything in this plaid. This grey plaid I feel like has been trendy for quite a few years now, and I really don't think it's that trendy anymore, I just think it's a classic at this point. Um, I feel like every girl I know, every girl I know just seems to be wearing like a plaid blazer or a plaid coat, so for me this is a real classic at this point. Um, and I feel like it's equally as chic whether you have it in a blazer, um, like this one I have from Petit Studios. This is a new piece for me that I haven't been able to stop wearing, especially to work. I feel like it's really chic. Um, the cut of it is really boxy, really nice for petite girls. Otherwise, I have this coat um, I've had for probably two or three years at this point from Japan. For me, once again, this is one of those coats like the like the um, the tweed, that will instantly kind of elevate your outfit if you have something really simple on. So just think like a white knit and denim. If you put this coat on, it will definitely make your outfit look so much better instantly and you really don't have to worry about too much at all. So another piece that I really like. I will link some um, droops to this down below because this is a Japanese brand that you can't really get online. but. I will link it down below and hopefully you guys like some of the options. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I really love doing these roundups before the season starts. Um, this video has gotten me so excited about packing for Spain and Portugal. Um, and it made me realize it's only about a month away, which is absolutely crazy. I hope if it's winter where you are, some of these um, items inspired you for your wardrobe this coming season. And also it gave you some new ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!